During spring and summer break, a lot of families will be vacationing, couples will be vacationing, but what if you're traveling alone? We have some tips this morning from a local blogger. Morgan Owens joins me now with what we should know. Yes, Morgan. Well, well, good morning. Well, dang, what a setup from Bay to just me. <laughs> it's like the, well, no, okay, the, look. the TV dinners for one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a, a lot of us don't talk about, you know, traveling alone yes, like I don't yes. think single people no, should yeah. be staycationing right no yeah so or even if you are in a relationship it's always good to travel that's so true by yourself, right? right yes so tell us how, how do we prepare for a single trip yes because I travel by myself all the time because sometimes that group chat don't get out of chat, oh I right? know it <laughs> and I made a promise to myself to just travel the world so the first thing is always do your research mm -hmm. and I thought about it and I was like you know if you go to a place a lot like what city are you in often maybe Atlanta Atlanta so you'd feel comfortable going by yourself right, right. Mm -hmm. so if you went to a city before with friends and like okay I think I could go like to Chicago or somewhere yeah. by myself try a city you're familiar with first okay. right before you just go abroad and do the big you know that's solo a, travel thing yeah that's yeah. true so are there any tips or apps or resources yeah yes. so apps of course um, share your location with your friends your family Good I idea. share with my mom even though she doesn't know how to find it but at least <laughs> if I go miss Thing. Someone was like, well, can you find like track her? It's you know, on the phone it's somewhere, on the mom. Phone somewhere, right? Yeah. But also the State Department has a program called STEP where you can register as a solo traveler if okay. you're traveling abroad, if anything were to happen, like an emergency, so they know they can find you somewhere just in case. So in case you don't tell anyone, at least the U.S. would know you're in Paris somewhere right. if something were to happen, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's so totally those are my sense. biggest things. And also your banks, like make sure you let them know you're traveling, oh. especially abroad, yeah. um, because they they will shut those cards down and then you don't want to be stuck somewhere without a card um, and also with that State Department you can store your um, passport like a copy of your passport photo oh, okay. your license That's and good. I always try to take pictures anyway and put it in my phone and store mm -hmm. it under my favorites mm -hmm. just in case I would lose my passport or your ID goes missing so you can still go to your local embassy and get back home that's the most important thing, right? That's, that's important. You yes. gotta get back home. So, yes. are there any places that are really safe for traveling alone, and, and places that maybe you're not so sure about? Yeah, I mean, again, you can go online and check the the level report about you know crime and you know should you travel or not. But really, yeah. just do your research, like I said. Um, do what's comfortable for you. Read the laws of other places, mm -hmm. it, even if it's domestic. You know, sometimes different states have different laws, of course. Right. Um, but just definitely abroad has different rules and regulations. Um, but places that I've always felt safe personally yes. have been Paris, London, Dubai. I went with a group of friends first, but now I'm ready to go by myself, which I am. Good. Um, so just different places that I've been with with people first, and then mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is super safe. Toronto, Canada, mm -hmm. super safe. Um, so yeah, you just got to do what's best for you and trust your gut. Too. That's important. If it doesn't feel good, then right. it ain't good. Then don't do it. <laughs> then don't do and it. And also do research on the culture, like exactly. what to wear, maybe yes. what not to wear, and be comfortable yes. in. Absolutely. So when I went to Dubai for the first time, I did dress a little bit more modestly. Yeah. Um, even though there's a real housewives of Dubai, I'm like, oh, they're open. Yeah. But but now I really know like where to go and what to do and what to wear. So so yeah, that's a good tip as well. You are always jet set, Morgan. How can people follow you to learn more travel tips? Sure. I'm Morgan Angelique Owens on Instagram, Facebook, or my website, Morgan. AONS.com where my blog is. Okay, Morgan, thank you. Thank it's a you. pleasure. It is hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.